Here at one of the more popular restaurants in the Washington area, guests come for the pastries and desserts as well as for the meals. The owner is almost as international as the clientele. She was born and raised in Brazil, then married a Lebanese man and spent many years working in Saudi Arabia. Napa, uh, rice pudding, uh, creme caramel, a taifi, baklava. baklava, have the baklava there. This, the people like it in Ramadan, but but the best sweet in Ramadan is ataifi and kunafa. They like it too much and have shaibi, shaibiyat also. This is the sweet, all people in Ramadan like it. The restaurant prepares all its pastries and desserts itself. This is my oven, the best oven. Okay, now I have a moali maybe ready, if you can see. Ready. Nuts with uh, milk, with uh, cream, with coconut, with the dough, dough with the pastry. Pastry dough. Pastry dough. Pastry dough. Evenings of Ramadan, many clients enjoy their sweets outside on the terrace. We eat baklava, you know, knefe, we eat knefe, um, you know, rice pudding. The rice pudding is very nice in Ramadan because it's, it's making with the milk and um, during the daytime, during the fasting time, it can keep you like without water, like it's going to help your, uh, yourself for doing fasting. Um, and these are the kinds of sweets that we are eating in Ramadan. Um, really all different kinds of sweets. I mean, this is, um, there are a lot of different cultures. Um, that you get exposed to during Ramadan because everybody wants to have everyone taste a little bit of um, desserts from their culture. I think maybe in, these are probably a little bit different because they use different types of flour or phyllo dough and Indian sweets um, tend to use a lot more, um, I, I really, it's hard to compare. It's really hard to compare. They're all amazing in their own way. Um, they're I, all very sweet. They're all, they're all very sweet, which is one thing they have in common, of course, and I like them all because I have a sweet tooth. So, How, does, how do the sweets here compare to what you, the sweets you might eat back in uh, Azerbaijan? It's my best favorite. My best favorite are Azeri baklava. Yeah, Azeri baklava and another one, it's, uh, it is, is the name Shekerbura. Shekerbura. That's it. It is my best favorite. I have a lot of sweet. It's true you can't find fresh Middle East pastries on every corner here in Washington, but there are a number of establishments that specialize in the fair. Everybody buy from here, even store buy from here, especially for Ramadan. We sell it to many store, hotel, for Arabic wedding, and everybody fi buy from here because they can't find that stuff other store. They, we don't have it here. And we sent it sometimes to Florida if they have a wedding or something, to New York, to Atlanta. You may have to travel a ways, but you can find mouth-watering, freshly made Arab pastries here in the American capital. For those away from the kingdom, it's like a taste of home. Mm. For Ramadan around the world, this is Burton Bolag in Washington.